Hey everybody, it's your boy LeBay Rome, the Disabled Fragrance Guy, and I'm back for another review. Do me a favor, if you haven't done so already, please go down below, like and subscribe to the channel. While you're down there, please hit that notification bell so you'll be notified about every time I drop a video to YouTube. I want to thank you for rocking with me. Let's continue the journey this week with a fragrance that is a must. All right, today we're going to be diving into a brand new company on the scene. They reached out to me on Instagram uh, a few weeks ago and asked me if I wanted to review a couple of their fragrances. I said, yes, sure, of course. I always like to review fragrances. So this week I'm going to be reviewing Fragrance Story and The Must Pour Ohm. All right, like I said, Fragrance Story is brand new on the scene. The Must Pour Ohm out in 2023. Fragrance Story is the company behind the fragrance. The notes from the top, we have bergamot and green notes. In the mid, we have melon, pineapple, and amber. And in the base, we have vanilla, musk, and woody notes. Sizes and prices, this is a 100 ml bottle of The Must. This is gonna run you $210 USD. I have to take a minute here to acknowledge the presentation. I, I absolutely love this bottle. It's very sexy. It's got the uh, embellishments down here on the bottom we have the uh, bronze plaque here fragrance story this is a very heavy metal cap right here it's very sleek very sexy I do love this with the gold atomizer on the bottle here and your pertinent information on the bottom slightly minimalistic but sexy nonetheless you can have this on your mantle it will look absolutely wonderful this is great presentation from Fragrance Story. Another thing I like about the presentation from Fragrance Story is that they include a travel size spray with their fragrances. And on the bottom here, as you can see, you can put it on top of the big bottle to get the juice out and take it with you. So you don't have to carry the big bottle with you for fear of it might break. Uh, that's my fear all the time, my big bottles will break. So this is the perfect solution to that problem. Uh, Attention to detail from Fragrance Story. I absolutely love this. I wish more companies would do it, including the travel size atomizer with the big bottle. Perfect detail from Fragrance Story. And since I am slightly accident prone in my old age, anything that makes my life easier with fragrances is a plus in my book. So kudos to Fragrance Story. You guys are on the ball. All right, let's get to what we came for, the smell. I'm gonna give a spray on this sample card here. Nice atomizer. All right, so off top, you're gonna get this bright, fresh bergamot up on top. Uh, the green notes are intermingling with the bergamot and they make this feel very crisp, clear, and very natural. The melon here is succulent, it is juicy, it is mouth-watering. I'm actually kind of salivating right now because it smells so good. This fragrance is completely appropriate. We're going into the summer here, it's mid-May. The heat is soon to be upon us, and I am going to love wearing the must in summer because I'm getting total vacation vibes here. Now, I know when we hear pineapple as a note in fragrances, we think of one fragrance and pretty much one fragrance only. Don't think that here. This is not giving me Aventus vibes at all. The pineapple does not remind me of Aventus, uh, so you don't have to worry about that. It is a photorealistic pineapple, however, and it is mouthwatering. The must is reminding me of the best parts of a beachy tropical vacation and that is completely appropriate for the summer that we're going into. I hope that I can wear this on a beach somewhere at some point this summer. We'll see if I can get away, um, but this is absolutely giving me tropical uh, beachy summer vacation vibes here. The amber is also giving me an air of sophistication to the fruity nuances of the fragrance. So you can dress this up, you can dress this down. It has an air of sophistication to it, and I love that about the must. Versatility is definitely on point here. You can wear this day or night. You can wear this dressed up, dressed down. The woody vanilla base here adds a little bit of depth to the overall composition. So you're not just wearing fruits and ambers and sweetness, you're wearing something that's got a little bit of a backbone as well. Uh, so that kind of sophisticates it up a little bit. I absolutely like that uh, feature of this fragrance. 
um, because sometimes you just want a little bit of a bite to a fragrance. You know, you don't want to wear just fruits and ambers and all that stuff. You want a little bit of something that you, know, you can reach out and touch somebody with. And that's exactly what I'm getting from this fragrance. Performance for Fragrance Story and the Must rings in on my skin at about seven and a half hours. That is what I like. That's my sweet spot right there. I don't like a fragrance that lasts about, you know, over 10 hours. To me, that's just way too much and I start to get a little crazy and I'm going to take a shower and wash it off. Um, but seven and a half hours of performance that gets me through an entire work day. I'm okay with that. If you're one that wants a fragrance to last 24 hours, hey, no problem with that. But at least on my skin, the must rings in at about seven and a half hours. On your skin, maybe a little less, maybe a little more. Everybody's skin chemistry is different. However, seven and a half hours on my skin, I am completely okay with that. My overall rating, I'm going to give the must an 8 out of 10. This is a pretty doggone good fragrance, y'all. I have to admit, I am looking forward to wearing this as the summer progresses. Um, it's a very enjoyable wear for me. I'm taken back to beachy vacations. I... Uh, it has an air of sophistication about it. It's versatile. You can dress it up. You can dress it down. You can wear it to the office. You can wear it casually. I think this is a great overall release from Fragrance Story. So 8 out of 10 for the Must Pour Ohm. You guys are definitely going to enjoy this. I'm going to leave a link to the Must down in the description below. Feel free to check it out, y'all. You guys need to get your noses on this. Support this new company on the scene. That's my time. Thank you very much for your time and attention today. And thank you to Fragrance Story for gifting a bottle of the must for my review. As you guys know, all opinions are my own. I do not give favorable review for product. I will never do that. That's my time. Go down below, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.